Is me Joe again? Joe? Who is Joe? Is that like Joe here? Just kidding! It's me out again! What are we going to do today? It is story time! Dun, dun. Right now, we got a book here. I got this book from McDonald's. It's so exciting. The name of the book is Treetop Twin Adventures. The twins have a picnic with spinosaurus. Ooh, so scary. This book is written by Chrisita Cowell. Look at the book. Oh, we got one small introduction here. Let's read it. The Treetop family has built a time machine has built a time machine to go back to the time to study the age of dinosaurs it's so scary S share with them in the adventures of a lifetime so let's read the book Three top twins adventures the twins have a picnic with a spinosaurus it's so scary the book written by Cressida Cowell long long ago the Sun shone down on the wild wonderful world and the volcanic swamps bubbled and steamed the tree top family the first ever to invent a time machine have traveled back on to the land of dinosaurs so scary right now she the the fam the tree top family are going to have a delicious feast in this adventure the time machine has gone back to back 95 million years oh my god that's a lot to the cretaceous period and they are in what is now known as africa the tree top family were about to have a delicious picnic In the shade of some trees by the river but nobody was quite hungry enough for lunch yet and everyone wanted to do different things Asha wanted to go swimming Tulip wanted to make mud castles Ted wanted to send paper boats down the river Alfie wanted to climb climb trees Professor Penelope wanted to study the fish and Professor Pablo wanted a nap let's all do our things for half an hour and then we can join together to have this picnic said professor penny lou so professor pablo settled down for a nice little sleep in the shade as we climbed the tree professor penny loop studied the fish and kept an eye on the twins tulip made Tulip made mud pies. Ted made paper boats and Asha practiced swimming. She had just learned how to swim properly without one foot on the ground. Everything was peaceful. Everything was quiet. Apart from Mr. Professor Pablo, who was snoring rather loudly. From the top of the tree, Alfie could see a long, long, long way. You could see the river curling away into the distance like a snake. He probably could see the sails of Ted's paper boats carried along the river by the wind. But hang on a second. What was that? Alfie blinked and rubbed his eyes. There was something in the river. A sail much larger than the sail of Ted's boats. That was moving towards them very, very, very fast. Something that looked very, 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 very dangerous indeed. Something that wanted to have a picnic of its own. Mom! Alfie shouted down from the top of his tree. I think I can see a fin of a sh the fin of a shark coming towards you. Only it's much, much bigger than any shark I have seen. Get out the river as far quick as you, f as quick as you can, Asha. 
That sounds like a back of a Spinosaurus. Oh no, it's the Spinosaurus. Ah, please don't hurt me, please. Please, just please don't hurt me. So where did we stop? We started from here. Get out to the river as fast as you can, Asha. That sounds like a back of a Spinosaurus, shouted Professor Pennylope. So Asha swam very quickly to the side of the river and clambered on to the bank beside Pennylope. Tulip and Ted, just in time for the enormous fin, came round the bend of the river. And it was indeed a bag of a Spinosaurus. Can a Spinosaurus come out of the water? Asked it. Nobody knows, said Professor Pennylo. But we're about to find out, Alfie. Come down from the tree. Run, everyone. So they ran up the bank and, sh- and sure enough, the Spinosaurus followed them. Oh, my goodness, said Ted as they ran fast as they could. Spinosaurus can come out of the water? And oh my goodness, said Tulip, its head looks exactly like a crocodile's. Does that mean it's a meat eater? And oh my goodness, said Asha, that Spinosaurus may even be bigger than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. <sighs> panted Professor Pennylope. We think that the Spinosaurus could be the largest meat eaters. Pablo, wake up! Professor Pablo woke up with a jump and start to find his and start and a start to find his family running towards him, waving their hands in the air. And the enormous Spinosaurus was charging towards them. Looking like it, the treetop family wa- might be a delicious picnic for a Spinosaurus on a hot, windy day. What could they do? Asha had a brilliant idea. She grabbed, she grabbed the picnic blanket, which was very bright red. Hold on to the edge of this blanket, everyone, and flap it as hard as you can. So the treetop family grabbed hold of the picnic blanket and all together they waved it, waved it back and it looked and it and in forth and the wind caught it like it was a red and it was like it was a big red sail the spinosaurus stopped charging suddenly the treetop family looked like it might be not a picnic at all suddenly treetop family looked like it could be another spinosaurus with little legs and a great big sail that would explain the loud snoring loud snoring noise that creature that had been making the spinosaurus was not in the mood to take on another spinosaurus especially one with a big sail as big as that one the spinosaurus gave a grunt and turned around and went back into the water. Phew! panted Professor Pennylope. Well done, everyone. I've always wanted to see a Spinosaurus, but perhaps not that close up. At last, the family were hungry enough for, the l- for lunch. Some of the picnic had been stomped on by the Spinosaurus, but the rest of it was delicious. Nine time in the land of dinosaurs, the hot winds were gently rocking the treetop home of the treetop family, and safe inside their tree house, they were all fast asleep. Well, nearly all. Do you think a spinosaurus really bigger than a Tyrannosaurus Rex? said Alfie sleepily. a little hard to tell said Asha because on the sail of its sail on its back it made it look bigger than it really it was 
but what i do know one thing but i do know i do one thing i do know one thing what's that asked galfi in our family we are very good at doing our own thing said asha but we are even better when we work as a team and both fell asleep Oh, they really have facts about the Cirrhospinosaurus. Let me read them for you. They were the largest of the meat-eating dinosaurs. Oh my god, that consumes a lot of meat. Scientists think that they may have lived on water and on land. Oh wow, that's so incredible about the Spinosaurus. They had heads like crocodiles. Oh, so scary. A crocodile-headed dinosaur is so scary. It's like a mutant. Mixed mutant like a crocodile is mixed up with a dinosaur. So silly. The sail on their back may have made them look larger and scarier to other dinosaurs. Oh my god, that's so big. Even the Tyrannosaurus Rex is so scared of the Spinosaurus. Thank you everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the story. Bye bye. See you later on the next episode.